How's it going guys? Win360 is here today to review the Samsung Galaxy S6 Active. So for the past two years with the Galaxy S4 and the Galaxy S5, Samsung has partnered with AT&T to create a more rugged and durable variant of its regular flagship phone. And this year is no different. We have the Galaxy S6 Active, the third generation of the Active line. And when compared to the stock Galaxy S6, they have a lot in common. Both have the same internals, the Exynos 7420 octa-core CPU, 3 gigabytes of RAM, the same beautiful 2560 by 1440 5.1-inch Super AMOLED Quad HD display with Corning Gorilla Glass 4. The cameras are the same, etc. But there are still several major differences setting this apart from the stock S6 and most notably the hardware. So the Active is meant to be a very rugged phone for active people outdoors built to withstand the elements. It's got IP68 certification, which means it's water resistant and submersible up to 1.5 meters of water and for up to 30 minutes. It can accomplish all of that without the port covers we saw in last year's Galaxy S5. It's also shock resistant when dropped onto a flat surface less than or equal to 4 feet. The S6 Active also meets US military standard A10G for water resistance and to withstand dust, shock, vibration, temperature extremes, humidity, and high altitude. So this phone is armed, really armed to the teeth and very outdoor friendly because you don't need a case to protect it and you don't really have to worry about it too much. The exact opposite of the regular S6 with its fragile glass. And I really do enjoy some of the hardware features, such as these little ridges on the sides of the phone, and also the rubberized plastic back, all of which helped with grip so the device won't slide and slip in your hands. This camel design on the back of our camel blue review unit looks adventurous as well, and it's unique, so I like it. This phone doesn't have the most premium build quality in the world when compared to the obviously more beautiful stock S6, but it doesn't feel cheap either. It feels solid in the hand, and it feels like a high-end phone. You get your typical buttons, such as the power and volume buttons, and they're very high quality, and they're textured too, making it easy to find the controls. But here we get the addition of this blue active key. And this key, by default, launches the activity zone, unique to the active, and from here you can see and launch a number of adventure-related apps. We have the weather, a barometer, S-health, a compass integration with Samsung's Milk music streaming service, as well as a flashlight toggle and stopwatch. So I guess this is a one-stop shop for all of your adventure needs. But the beauty of this key is that you can customize it to open apps of your choice. So for a short press, you can change it to launch any of the apps you've downloaded, and I'll just pick Chrome to demonstrate. For a long press, let's set it to open the settings. So for a short press, we get Chrome and a long press we get the settings. So very nifty and useful as well. The micro USB port for charging and syncing is at the uh, next to the uh, microphone at the bottom. Here uh, you have the SIM card tray and you can just pull without needing a SIM ejector tool. It's a nano SIM, but for unfortunately there's no micro SD expansion. The only storage option available is 32 gigabytes, 24 of which is available to the end user. At the top, you get your microphone, IR blaster, and the 3.5mm headphone jack. On the back, we have our speakers, which sound okay, but definitely not the best location for a speaker. You have your AT&T branding and the Galaxy logo. You get your 16 megapixel shooter along with the LED flash and a heart rate sensor. On the front, you get your LED notification light, earpiece, proximity and gesture sensors, and also the 5 megapixel front facing camera. Instead of on screen buttons, we get physical buttons here, which is rare to see, but having physical buttons make a lot of sense because physical buttons are more reliable than touch buttons during extreme situations. Personally, I think physical buttons are great since they, they don't use up the screen real estate and you can get perks like double clicking the home button to launch the camera and also wake the screen with a simple press. And uh, the multitasking, home and back buttons are all very tactile, but unfortunately, it's lacking the fingerprint scanner unlike its sibling. The software experience is exactly what you would expect from a Samsung device. The good old TouchWiz interface runs a lot better and delivers a smoother experience compared to previous Samsung phones. 
Features like Dual Window works as well as ever, and new additions such as the Theme Store enables you to install themes that change the look and feel of the entire software experience with a simple click. Though Samsung has dramatically decreased its number of pre-installed apps, there is no shortage of software value adds from AT&T. Unfortunately, the Active is still stuck on Android 5.0.2, so hopefully AT&T can update it to the newer version soon. And speaking of updates, with the S6 Active being a unique model specific to a single carrier, the odds that it will get a timely update to the next version of Android are pretty low, if they come at all. The display is excellent with rich colors as you would expect from an AMOLED panel. It can get very bright, but it can also become very dim. Having the ability to switch between various screen modes is a big plus. Performance on the Active should be about the same as its sibling, even though benchmarks say otherwise with the Active scoring a couple hundred points higher than the regular S6. Regardless, the Active has handled everything I've thrown at it well, whether it's navigating the user interface, opening and closing apps, intensive gaming, video streaming, or web browsing, the Active run it all like a champ without a problem. The performance is solid, and so far I have experienced no lag or sluggishness, and let's hope it can stay that way. There's only one word to express the Active's camera. Beautiful. Shots are rich with color accuracy and saturation, and the pictures taken look fantastic. The camera is also uh, nicely laid out with a wealth of shooting modes for you to enjoy, and having the ability to record 4K video as well as 1080p video at 60 frames per second is awesome. So yeah, the camera of the S6 Active is definitely, without a doubt, one of the best. The Galaxy S6 Active has a 3500 mAh non-removable battery, which is a good thing since it prevents water intrusion. And the battery life is quite good, I've consistently been able to get 5.5 hours of screen on time, so the Active can definitely last you through an entire day, with even with heavy use. The built-in wireless charging capability makes it simple to refuel, and the included fast charger also helps to quickly recharge. If conditions get really bad, you can turn on ultra power saving mode at 10% and still get up to 24 hours of talk and text time. Lastly, the call quality on the Big Orange is solid. I can clearly hear the other person, and the other person can hear me clearly as well. Though the call quality could be better with AT&T HD Voice, but it's not yet available in my area, unfortunately. Data speeds on AT&T's 4G LTE network is also quite good, since I can get LTE reception even indoors. The speeds are okay indoors, but the data speed drastically improves outdoors. So overall, if you're looking for a phone that you can bring on outdoor adventures, look no further than the Galaxy S6 Active because it should be on the top of your list. It's got all the flagship specifications you would come to expect, an excellent camera, and the best of all, the rugged, durable hardware with its IP68 certification. You won't be disappointed with the phone as good as this. The S6 Active is available only on AT&T in store and online. You can get this for $199 with a two-year contract, $695 off contract, or lease the phone through AT&T Next, the carrier's early upgrade program. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think about the Galaxy S6 Active. Would you buy it? I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Thanks again, and I hope to see you soon in my next video. Take care.